All right, we are live. What's going on, Chris? Yeah, man, hopefully we get some sweet pools for your first time. That's what I'm rooting on. So we'll give everybody <clears throat> about another minute or two to get in here, and then we'll kick this thing off. Playing any uh, FNM tonight? Right, we're getting a handful of people in here today. Getting close to that time where everybody's getting off of work. Hoping on doing another uh, break right after this. Um, this one filled up, thankfully, a little bit faster than the rest of them. Well, so um, we always do, just kind of a FYI for everybody, uh, the videos are always going to be live, and then they get reposted in the video tab um, on the Facebook homepage and or the photo tab if you're on a mobile device. And you can also look us up on uh, YouTube and Twitch just under Iron Lion Collectibles. Um, so there's a bunch of places you can watch replays. Um... For the next one, um, I mean, I have this set up as well. I mean, we have all the standard stuff right now, to be honest. So, um, I might do a Ravnica Allegiance and either War of the Spark or Throne of Eldraine. Let's see, let's get a time check here real quick. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so. Just past that four minutes, almost four and a half minutes. So let's go ahead and get it going. Man, that's where this chat thing, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh well. All right. So we are coming back at you guys with a second one today. Another multi box. We've got this time Guilds of Ravnica and War of the Spark. So, looking out for some Shockland, um, Assassin's Trophy action, maybe a Varaska. Uh, let's see, we're looking for maybe some Liliana, maybe a Nyssa. Um, there's a ton of stuff in here. So, 
been some pretty sweet videos thus far. Um, let's see, last time we saved the guilds box, or we saved the uh, Ravnica box for last, but we're going to go here first. And let's do the breakdown real fast. Today we've got Steam Vincent Islands going out to first time here with us. Shout out to Chris Shin, man. Glad to have you. Great to see a new face and another uh, guild member in here with us. So good luck and hopefully we get some sweet pools with your first time here with us, man. We've got Watery Grave and Swamps going out to Aaron, as well as the Overgrown Tomb Colorless Non-Artifacts and the Sacred Foundry Mountain and other Non-Shockland Lands. Then we've got Temple Garden Plains and the Colorless Artifacts going to Chris. And wrapping it up with the Multicolor Man himself, we've got Jeremy. All right, everybody. So that's who's in. Let's see what comes out. Good luck. And here we go. All right, pack one. Step right on up. It is a Deafening Clarion. Very nice. That one's going out to Jeremy, starting out there. Oh, did my stream. I swear the stream freezes all the time on Facebook. Not even from y'all's end, but from my end. I can't even see it. All right, we are good to go. And next up, we've got the Niv Mizzet Parham and MC Hammer Drop. Both of those going out to Jeremy. All right, pack three. Are we going to get our mythic train like we did earlier? We had like three or four of them. Drown Secrets going out to Chris. Uh, that first pile was just nutty. I think we had four mythics and a shock land. So let's see what we got here. Price of Fame. And a Chamber Century plus another foil mythic. It's been a good day for that. That's what I'm talking about. The Underrealm Lich, Foil Mythic Zombie Elf Shaman. Going out to Jeremy. And we have a Chamber Century. That one's going out to Chris. Congrats, both you guys. All right, next up. Let's see if we can top that. <laughs> that is pretty close. Arclight Phoenix with the back-to-back -back Mythic Smash there. I believe this was on somebody's Christmas wish list. And there you go. Nice, Aaron. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Aaron uh, is in them from time to time. Pretty awesome dude, though. Definitely a big supporter of, of what we're trying to get everybody involved in with. Venerated Loxodon going out to Chris. And he's here just to have a good time. Demotion. Oh, uh, the silencer. That one going out to Jeremy. Hey, what's up, Aaron? I'll give you a, a recap here in just a second, bud. Mission briefing. 
All right, so we did get a foil Underrealm Lich as well as Clarion, Nip Miss It, Secrets. Uh, you ripped this just before you walked in. Merry Christmas. We have Gruesome Menagerie going out to Aaron. Alrighty, next up, what do we have here? Hey, Thought Erasure, it's still a couple bucks. Amara, Soul of the Accord, going out to Jeremy. Bacon Bolt. And what do we got? Narcomoeba. That one's going out to Chris. All right, last pack from the first pile. Still got two more to go. A Zoni plus a Foil Skyline Scout. A Zoni going out to Jeremy. All right, so we hit a pretty, pretty nice little uh, even amount of cards for every color. A little lackluster with the red and green, but we'll get there. Oh, there we go. Shout out to Chris with the Steam Vent. Shockland number one. And a foil, Generous Stray. All right, let the Shocklands begin. And a Blood Operative going out to Aaron. Memory Mystic. And Shockland number two. Gracious, that's what I'm talking about. Overgrown Tomb. Going out to Aaron. All right, so we got two Shocklands already. Still only the two Mythics as well. And an Unward Ego. Big Ego going out to Jeremy. So we're going through our box one ofs. Still haven't had a duplicate uh, rare yet. So I'm curious what we're going to have on this one. And our next Mythic which is blurry, it's all get out. Uh, Divine Visitation, that one's going out to Chris. Move this, I think it's trying to get the image from the box behind it. And a Midnight Reaper. Nice. There we go. Reaper going out to Aaron. I always forget that guy is a knight as well. Uh-oh. Upside down cards. They forgot how to pack right. Sabotage. Not bad, not bad. And it's a Legion War Boss. Hey. War boss is going out to Aaron. Yeah, I played a. Uh, whenever I was playing a lot of Esper Hero, I actually really liked breaking out into the surveil, kind of backup plan with it. 
Hey, nice. Find to finality. Going out to Jeremy. I wasn't playing anything like Spy Bug, but the um, disinformation or whatever campaign. Play like that with Thought Erasure. Experimental Frenzy. Going out to Aaron. Alrighty, up next is another mythic. Nice, Tristani Discordance going out to Jeremy. Molder Hulk and the camaraderie with the guild gate to cast it. Going out to Jeremy. Right, so we got two shock lands down, three mythics, and last pack, the second pile. A speaking of surveil. And we have a Light of the Legion plus the Night Veil Sprite foil. And both of those are actually going out to Chris. Congrats, man. <laughs> well, hey, man, you're more than welcome anytime you want to join us in here on the um, box breaks that we're doing. I need to add a bunch of people on um, Arena because I play that pretty religiously, too. Vivid Revival going out to Aaron. Is that like the first green card in this entire box that's why the long pause there i was like wait have we even said that color yet the assure to assemble and the teaser foil guildgate Going out to Jeremy. Alright, up next, what do we have? The Bounty Agent. That one going out to Chris. Nice, dude. Let's see, we got about nine packs left. Right, foil pack, come on. We still have just the foil mythic. And nice, Shockland number three. And whoo -hoo. there we go. First time luck, whatever you want to call it. Foil chromatic lantern. That's worth a nice little penny. Going out to Chris and the always classy watery grave. Going to Aaron, Shockland number three. Right, so we did get another foil rare. Happy about that, and it's a dang good one. Night of Autumn, not bad. Keeping the playables going. She's still a couple bucks. Going out to Jeremy. Raiders, Citywide Sphinx, and Charnel Troll. Taking it right back to Jeremy. Up next, what do we have here? It is a bounty of might. Bounty's going out. <laughs> going out to Aaron. Let's 
get one more shock land at least. I nice. There we go. Quite the sought after card at the moment. And that one's going to Jeremy. Ooh, Mausoleum Secrets. Are we actually not going to have any doubles? I don't believe it. You might even spin the wheel or make it the wheel um, and hit another Chromatic Lantern in here. Because we've been pretty consistent about one a box, one non foil. Swift Blade Vindicator going out to Jeremy. I don't know, man. You can call it beginner's luck or whatever you want, but every time we've had a new person in here, they just get some awesome stuff, and it's great to see, and I'm happy for you. Risk Factor. Building you that mono red deck again, Aaron. No Steamkin, though. A little surprised. All right, everybody, last pack, and it is, I believe, a foil shot, so could get something sweet. Now, this might possibly should be a Mythic. Oh, it is close enough, though. Shockland number four and a foil sure strike. There we go. And Aaron getting all the last goodies there. The mountain slot. All right, so we had three shock lands, a foil, mythic, uh, I believe five, four mythics total, four mythics. All right, so War of the Spark, here we go. Sorry about that. Just trying to pick up some trash on the ground, being a little bit courteous. All right, so first pack in our set. And we started off with the Flibbit and a Foil Sky Theater Strix. Both of those going out to Chris. <laughs> All right, what we got next? Mayhem Devil, very nice. And single combat, usually a single of in every box. Going out to Chris. Uh, yeah, foil Nissa, maybe even a foil Liliana. Deliver unto evil. Going out to Aaron. All right, moving on. And next up, Vivian's Arcbow. And that Arcbow going out to Aaron. On something sweet. Let's get a foil. Ooh, I know what that guy is. Nicobolus. Our first mythic of the box here. Going out to Jeremy. Congrats, dude. Hey, another Mayhem Devil. It's two already. And a Command the Dread Horde. Going out to Aaron.
And we follow that up with the Dread Horde Butcher. A lot of Dread Horde going on. Bolty Bendy. And. Oh, a second Arc Bow. Alright, so that was one of our box doubles. Legionnaire. And a Feathered. Nice. Got the makings of a Boros Heroic deck, basically. Pretty fun in Pioneer, I gotta say. A lot of sweet cards. And Feathered going out to Jeremy. And a Spark Double. Spark Double going out to Chris. It's a ley line. And a solar blaze plus a foil island. That's pretty cool. Looks like the scene from Independence Day right before they blow up that roof. <laughs> All right, last pack of the first pile. Believe it's a foil shot. Deliver unto evil number two. And a foil evolution sage. Alright, so we got two out of hopefully two box doubles. It's been back and forth between the two to four range on how many of at least War of the Spark that we're getting second copies of. And next up. Ignite the beacon. That one going out to Chris. Dovin's Veto. Nice. And Blast Zone. Hey, there we go. All right. Blast Zone going out to Aaron. Next up, we got all, a lot of bonding going on. Nissa, there we go. She shakes the world. And going out to Erin. Can we spin the wheel and get a foil Nissa? That'd be pretty crazy. If you called it and you got that, I'd just go crazy. That'd be nutty. Oh, going right back to Aaron with the Mythic number two. We've got Ronas. Paradise Druid. Very nice. And back to back gods. We find um, Oketra going out to Chris. There you go, man. And just an FYI for everybody, we will be doing another break going up uh, immediately after this video is going to end. Widespread brutality. That one going out to Jeremy. Next up, something mythical, Nahib. Now I always think this guy is one of the gods. The artwork and picture style is so close. But he is going out to Aaron. Nice, like third Dovin's Veto. And we keep the God Cycle going. 
Kinefet. Or Kefnet. I forget how you pronounce that dude's name. But another god going out to Chris. And a soul diviner going out to Jeremy. Kefnet. Sounds like such a cheesy name. Good old Augur. Who remembers the uh, Jeskai Flash deck back in the day with Angel? Ral plus a mountain. Storm Conduit going out to Jeremy. And we have Tulsimir. He's going out to Jeremy. Congrats, man. Roll reversal. Right, going right back to Jeremy. So I hit a little pocket of multicolor there. First pack of this last pile. Oh, that was a spoiler. And we have a Johnny. Oh, nice. Two for one. So we did get a third box double. Single combat going out to Chris Foil. And a Johnny going out to Jeremy. What's that last mythic gonna be? It's a living twister though. Going out to Jeremy. So 10 packs to go. And we have a Chandra Fire Artisan going out to Aaron. <laughs> Should still have at least one more mythic in here. Commence the end game. End game going out to Chris. And we follow that up with the Sarkin. Sarkin going out to Aaron. So we're getting most of all the Planeswalkers here. Still looking for Jace. Uh, Jace, Nissa, Domri, Liliana. Big shout out to her. And uh, Vivian. And another foil. Okay, okay. So we got a foil Elder spell and a Vivian. Both of which going out to Aaron. So a third foil rare. Hmm, interesting. Hopefully that does not mean that we're going to get one less mythic. That would be a bit unfortunate. Nope. God Eternal Bontu. All right. Keeping the cycle of gods going. Going out to Aaron. And coming back with a Soren. That one's going out to Jeremy. All right, four packs. Count them down. And 
a bioessence hydra that one going out to jeremy Possible foil, maybe, maybe. Ho oh, ho, Teferi. That's a nice one. Time Raveler. Going out to Jeremy. Very nice. And Obnixilis Cruelty. Well, this was a pretty sweet box. There's a lot of goodies in here. Dread Horde Invasion plus Foil Dovin. Hey, there we go. I feel like we got a lot of foils out of this this uh, two boxes. All right, last pack. Let's bring her in for a close-up. It is Ravnica at War. And we will end on Chris there. Well, sorry, bud. I couldn't find you a Jace. I know we were hoping for that one. Um, but we did get you a Shockland and a couple Mythics. So not too bad, not bad at all. Um, so that is going to be it for this second break of the day, everybody. Um, not too bad. I think pretty well-rounded. Everybody got a Mythic and... A uh, four Shocklands, I think. So, not too bad. Uh, I want to thank you guys once again, Chris, Aaron, and Jeremy. Uh, we definitely appreciate the continued support that you guys have and have here with us. So, I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff packed up. We're going to repost for another one and keep this train rolling. So, I'll be back here shortly. You guys stick around. Peace.